There was a big shift in 2018, 2019, and I think driven by uh, really patient advocacy and physician advocacy, that for people with ALS, we wanted to move that uh, needle earlier. ALS is an illness that's both difficult to diagnose and to treat. We're still trying to understand the underlying biology. At the Healy Center at Mass General, we're very aggressive and proactive in treating people with ALS. I want our patients to know everything about their options. The first step is really the education. EAP stands for Expanded Access Program, where a doctor could ask a company and the FDA for permission to give an experimental drug to someone outside of a clinical trial. We also recognize that some people may not be eligible to participate for the formal trial. And so for those individuals, we have built an EAP companion to allow them to still have access to the drug, uh, even if they're not eligible for the formal trial. In terms of my experience as a EAP patient, my progression has been much, much slower than is typically expected. That we're also learning how to best use EAPs to not only give access, but also to learn about drugs. We are actually learning uh, new data, we're learning about safety, about biomarkers, and so we're learning about the drugs in a population that normally would not be included in clinical trials. The biggest challenges for running an expanded access program in the center are uh, resources at the center. It costs about $10,000 a year to enroll one person in an expanded access program. Only 2% of ALS patients today eligible for expanded access are getting it. So we desperately need funding in order to establish the infrastructure through which patients can access the medication. But again, we need to have the infrastructure and the funding to be able to open the centers. Every day we're learning more about the biology and getting better targets. And that tells me that we're gonna get better drugs. So I think in the next year or two, we're gonna have more options for our patients uh, of marketed drugs and, and still many more trials.